In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Harriet's method to solve cubics. This method was invented a long time ago by the mathematician Thomas Harriet, who lived between 1560 and 1621. He's also responsible for having created the inequality symbols for less than and greater than. What inspired me to make this video was a movie that I watched called Old School. I'll show you the clip at the very end, and here's how it's done. So pretend that you have a cubic equation like this, where we have x to the power of 3 plus 75x is equal to 16. Just a random cubic, but something that's very special about it is that it does not contain the x squared term. This method cannot be applied to cubics that have the x squared term. So we have the x cubed term, we have the x term, and we have a constant. So to solve using Harriet's method, we have to use this formula where x is equal to d minus b squared over d, where d can be found using the following equation where you have c to the power of 3 plus the square root of b to the power of 6 plus c to the power of 6. Now you're probably wondering what c and b are, because if we know what c and b are, we can find d, and then we can apply everything to this equation to find out our x-intercept. Here's how to find b and c. You see the x term, 75x. The coefficient related to the x term tells us information about b. So you'll take the coefficient of 75, and you'll make it equal to 3b squared. 3b squared. By dividing both sides by 3, you've isolated b squared, which is a component for this equation. So if I divide both sides by 3, I end up with a b squared, and 75 divided by 3 is 25. So I have my b squared, and I'll substitute it into there shortly. To find out what c is, so that you can find d eventually, it's related to the constant of the cubic equation. So the constant is 16. I'll say 16 is equal to 2c cubed. So always make the constant equal to 2c cubed. And make sure that the constant is isolated on the right side already. It's isolated on its own. In our case, it's already isolated. So by dividing both sides by 2, I end up with c cubed, which I can use in this equation. So I'll divide both sides by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. All right, so I have b squared and I have c cubed. Now I can start to find out information about d, which eventually I'll use to find my root. d is found using this formula, where I have d to the power of 3 is equal to c cubed, and that's 8. We found that earlier plus the square root of b to the power of 6 plus c to the power of 6. We can get b to the power of 6 by manipulating equation number 1, this one over here, where I raise both sides to the power of 3, and the exponent laws makes this b to the power of 6. Therefore, 25 to the power of 3 is b to the power of 6. I'll apply the same logic to find c to the power of 6, where I raise both sides to the power of 2. c to the power of 3 to the power of 2 is c to the power of 6. And we have 8 to the power of 2, which is 64, plus 64. So let's use our calculator to find out what d to the power of 3 is. 8 plus the square root of 25 to the power of 3, plus 64. This gives us an output of 133.2557, etc. I need to cube root this so that I have d isolated and then I can eventually place it into here. So let's use our calculator to cube root this. We end up with a d value that is 5.110. And I like to write down all the numbers after the decimal place just to prevent any rounding errors. So d is equal to 5.107738. I have everything that I need to find out my root, and I will use that formula, where x is equal to this value 
minus what we found for b squared, and that was originally 25, 25 over 5.10. Now, it's important that when you do this calculation, make sure that you include all those numbers after the decimal place, or at least four, to get an accurate output. So I'll write down 5.1077 minus 25 divided by the same output of 5.1077. And after calculating, you should end up with 0 0.2132. 0 0.2132. That is the only root for this cubic function. And to prove to you that that is the root, let's graph this on a graphing calculator, where we have x to the power of 3 plus 75x is equal to 16. And if we zoom in, you should end up with a value that is between 0 0.21 and 0 0.215. And that's precisely what we reported as our answer. To conclude this lesson, here's the clip from Old School that inspired this video. Harriet's method of solving cubics. The answer is A, Harriet's method of solving cubics. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions related to this, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below.